Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Easy. Sorry if I look so funny right now. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm recording this from my phone. This is the um Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I'm using an app called PS Play. It's $5.99. It used to be, I think it was five dollars before. But it's um allows you to basically remote play using the Razer Quiche or any controller. I know um the only way for you to be able to use remote plays to use a PlayStation 4 controller, but um, you wasn't able to like use the Xbox controller and stuff like that. But I do love the fact like this. But I want to show you guys something. Um, I'm playing this in 4K. Okay, let me just show you guys it really, really quick. 4K, which I can't switch it over. <laughs> I can't switch it over, but um, I have to jump inside of a game real quick to show you that it's actually in 4K. So we're gonna just jump inside Resident Evil really, really quick. Um, and you're gonna actually see HDR everything on. Um, I'm gonna switch it up so you can actually see the colors. This is actually really, really good. So this is not really a big review for this, but this is just giving you guys a little sample. As you can see, I'm on the screen. I can move my screen up and down like that. My camera is actually right here where my finger is. Um, on my Note 20 Ultra. So um yeah, so that's what this. This is the Razer Quiche. I'm the Ra yeah the Razer Quiche. Um, so let's go to that. Go to options. Display. And as you can see, HDR is on. As you can see, when I turn it off and on, you notice the colors change. Now you, you see how deep the colors is now. When I turn it off. It just get bland on I mean it is so crispy man really really crispy um, so let's go back out to this um, option so let you know that I am on my phone let's just hit it like that as you can see right there I'm on my phone right now as you can see everything right there uh, let's go back right here just hit that back up as so um, I want to go to my Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I want to go to my desktop. It's because I turned off a lot of the settings on it, so that's basically what's happening. So let me just close this out really quick. Can I go over and show the resolution? Yeah, so long time one here, this is what's going to happen. So I will have to actually kick myself off of my phone really, really quick. So I can switch up the resolution. So I actually just kicked myself off the phone really quick. Um, okay, it says I'm still in remote play. I shouldn't still be in remote play. All right, there we go. Switch this over. Okay, so everything's on. I'll put this to full. Okay. okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the app real quick hit it back right here so as you can see right here remote play mode this is PS now so if I go right here I have different settings so I can click this right here settings right here I got this set to 1080p frames per second which let me move my finger oh my god it's set to 60 frames per second I got the bit rate up to best um, I got real time decoder, so it dec it says if activated real time decoder settings, this could decrease video decoder and latency. Um, no, this could lead to problems on some devices. So um, that's why I have this up on here. I have this set to zoom, on um, which I would normally keep it on keep aspect ratio. On um, this one, ignore display notch. So basically, when I put it on, it's gonna basically cut off more of the stuff with the notch I put um don't drop frame rates um could increase latency um I just want the rate um you know the ref um, frame rates um uh I was gonna keep this on here but it says don't put it on here unless I really need it I was gonna use this one right here but it says don't use it 
um, show on screen, which I was going to do this, uh, so I think I should turn this back on, um, uh, virtual on screen, no, um, auto high buttons, select on a minute, no, show twins, use volume buttons, so I basically have all these things set up right here, so exit back out, exit back one more time, I'm going to connect, and as you can see, we're back into the game right there, I'm going to jump back into Resident Evil. As you can see, I can just throw it anywhere. Which I should, what I really should do is, I should, um... Alright, I just want to show you guys how it actually looks with the resolution in game. So I'm gonna turn HDR off. I mean, it looks so crispy with HDR on, man. Okay, um, display, HDR off, story. And you just wanna see how crispy the graphics looks on this thing. Now, I've been enjoying using this, this app. I've been in bed. It's like 12.47 right now, as you can see the time. I've actually been in bed using this thing. Like, what? What? Like, it makes me want to play my games. I just really want to play Star Wars now with this. Um, <laughs> I mean, all right, so this is the graphics. I got no latency right now. My buttons, as you can hear it. It's perfect. But let's turn that HDR on real quick, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this real quick. We're gonna go to options. Let's turn that HDR on. And just watch out. Oh, look how crispy that is. Ooh, that thing is so mm. I want to actually try this with my um, Galaxy Buds in and see how the microphone sounds with the Galaxy Buds on um, in my ears. And oh man, I'm loving this. Like, it looks so good because I'm using the, um, the Note Ultra, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And this thing just looks so beautiful. Let's look at the fire. Oh, that looks beautiful. So I'm actually recording this from my phone. I'm actually using the in-game screen recording. So it's going to record in like um, 1080p. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video. And I'm not going to upload it directly. I'm going to throw this video in um, Final Cut Pro. And I might upload it in 4K or 8K. So y'all can see how crispy it really looks. Um... Damn, this thing looks beautiful. Oh my god, the HDR on this looks beautiful on my phone. And my phone is 120 hertz. Oh man. This thing looks so beautiful. I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna record it again. And, um,. Take it off a stretch because I actually got it on Zoom. Um, but with on Zoom, it cuts off some of the um buttons and some of the words. Like y'all wasn't able to see the skip at the bottom because I actually have it. As you can see at the bottom, it's supposed to say um square and circle. You actually can't see it because I have it set up like that. And so I actually need to like mess around with some of this. But I do like it in full screen because basically what happens is it's it makes it a little bit smaller. But you get, you know, the whole screen. But I like the sh the um, stretch, the zooming feature because it just looks way better, and it gives more of an immersion. Like my phone looks crispy. Like, oh my god, this look looks. Oh my god. No latency. I feel like I can play Call of Duty with this. I have no latency. That's because I'm on 5 gigahertz. Oh man, this 
this looks so good. This looks so good. All right, guys. Tell me what you guys um, think. I'm going to upload this probably in 4K or 8K. And I'm going to catch you guys later. All right? Peace, deuces, one, and I'm out of here. I'm out. Holla. Oh, yeah, check this out. Look at that rocket launcher just right here. See? And I can draw on the screen. I can put in the different colors right there. Like, boom. I mean, got like a little mark on his arm right there. This thing is like amazing. Like, you see me right here. Y'all can see me right there. I can take this. I can throw it over here. Now I'm over there. Hold on. I'm over there. Change the color. Put it into white. Boom. There we go right there. So, it is a cool little feature. I'm going to catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out of here. Peace.